My father wrote one poem his whole life. It is not necessary to understand the opening of the door to feel the wind. Homestead, I think, brought that mentality that said, we want you to be different. Not only do we value it, we encourage it. It was tribal. It was tribal. It was a tribe. It was a, a time out of time when magical things happened. Because it brings people from all over, people that you don't know, and opportunities that don't exist in your normal day-to-day -day life. I think it was that mix that was very 60s. It just felt like a place where you could kind of be who you were. We were mad about things. We were angry about things. We felt like, you know, we were being taken advantage of. We hated the government. We hated Dow Chemical. We, ha we had a lot of anger. A male-dominated free-for-all? I completely, I think it's completely accurate. Those words describe what life was like outside of Homestead at the time, too. The male-dominated culture, all of culture was male-dominated. I, again, had been empowered as a young girl to think that I could do anything. I always used to say Unitarianism was a religion based on coffee and donuts, that nothing really happened until afterward, and then all the talking and the conversation. And these young men and women, they were really awesome. They wanted to give of themselves. They, they, weren't, they weren't uptight. There was something about them that was very worldly and pure and innocent and, lo and, and incredibly loving. To learn about life in a supportive environment where your voice is heard, where you feel comfortable expressing yourself, I just think that atmosphere, it was just the perfect fertile ground. And people trusted us. God knows why, but they did and they let us do stuff. I'm put in an environment where I really can have my own beliefs on things. I mean, that's, that's an important thing to me because I don't like being told, you know, what to believe, and I like explanation, you know. These kids are less angry than they are figuring out ways to fix stuff. They're really much more directed that way, which is a very good impulse. And so one of the things to do is to take that impulse and to try and expand on it. The director of the camp at that time was a gentleman named Johnny Ertha, and he had a concept um, that was very powerful from my perspective, which was to have a youth-run camp. The level of genius expressed by John Ertha, coupled with his compassion and his sense of humor, is, is something that I wish everyone could experience. It gave me the feeling of community and love that I really craved. The Homestead worship service was something that we did at Homestead that capped the end of the day. It was a reminder that we were in a spiritual camp. I first came here in 1971, and I was the assistant director of Rowe Junior High Camp. I was 24 years old, and I'd only gotten out of divinity school a year before. On the last night of camp, there was a three-week session. I saw two-thirds of the campers crying for two hours, and it blew my mind. I feel like the teenagers I deal with these days are robbed of the sheer leisure to cultivate an inner life and their own leadership potential and their creativity. What Homestead did was it gave you the feeling that it was possible to live your life the way you wanted to. There have been a few experiences in my life that I know were turning points, but the first one that I know of was Homestead. People tell me it saved their life, you know, that, that Homestead saved their lives. It, there was a lot of darkness in the world, and, and Homestead was a light. You look back in the 60s, and you think of the values that people had, peace and love. It, those were wonderful values. For those of us that went to a place like Homestead, we actually learned in that process that you could live that way. And I think one of the differences for people who went to Homestead is we went out in the world and continued to live that way because we had developed the confidence that it was actually possible. You've been away from Homestead for a long time. Why did you seek to reconnect with her? I don't feel like I was ever away from Homestead. I feel like Homestead was always in my heart. In my heart, you'll always be a part of me.